In this video, you will learn how to run a cephalic delivery with a shoulder dystocia complication. By the end of this video, you should be able to program a shoulder dystocia event during a cephalic delivery, program the birthing baby vitals, activate vaginal hemorrhaging, generate spontaneous turtle signs, monitor the automatic detection of dystocia management techniques, and reset the simulator for another labor scenario. Before starting, make sure you have properly settled the Victoria and the birthing baby. Once Victoria is completely prepared for the birth, click the Shoulder Dystocia category in the Quick Launch page of the software. Select any of the scenarios with a baby icon and click Start Scenario to begin the labor. The software will automatically activate the Shoulder Dystocia checkbox. With the checkbox activated, the motor will automatically display contractions with turtle signs when the baby reaches the descent programmed in the box here. The number in the box here correlates with the numbers on the left axis of the labor curve. To program the birthing baby vitals, click the baby icon at the bottom of the submenu list on the left. With the Instant Apply feature activated, you can click any of the values and make changes by clicking the buttons or moving the sliders. The Baby Run Time determines how long the baby will play the vitals after being delivered. To activate vaginal bleeding, Click the icon of the uterus in the submenu on the left. Click Vaginal Hemorrhage and click On. When the baby reaches the appropriate descent, if vaginal hemorrhaging is turned on, the simulator will bleed. The bleeding will stop automatically, or you can manually turn it off by clicking the Vaginal Hemorrhage button and clicking Off. When the labor curve reaches the shoulder dystocia event, you can manually generate turtle signs in the fetal monitor screen. Click the Turtle Signs button to generate a spontaneous turtle sign. The software will document any turtle signs for debriefing later. Victoria will automatically detect and log any pulling forces on the head of the birthing baby during the delivery. Victoria will also automatically detect and log McRoberts maneuvers. Suprapubic pressure will be automatically detected and logged in the software. Victoria will automatically detect and log the wood screw maneuver. To relieve the shoulder dystocia and allow the labor to progress, uncheck the shoulder dystocia box. Once the progress bar reaches the end of the labor graph, the birthing baby will unlock from the motor, allowing it to be delivered. After the baby is delivered, the umbilical cord can be clamped and cut, the placenta can be delivered, and the newborn can be evaluated for signs of neonate health. The neonate can display cyanosis, crying, programmable heart and lung sounds, and realistic head movement. It will play whichever vitals were programmed during the labor for the duration designated by baby runtime. Once the scenario has ended, resetting for the next scenario is easy. Do not attempt to lift the contractions cover without first releasing both latches. Press the release latch and gently lift the cover enough to disconnect the data cable. Then remove the cover. Remove the birthing rod from the motor by pressing the lever and remove the birthing ring from the retaining hook. Press the reset button in the software to return the motor to a starting position. Once the motor has returned to the starting position, use the drain syringe to pull the mineral oil and simulated blood from the drain port. Victoria is now ready to perform another birth. Prepare the birth, making sure to complete the pre-birth checklists. 